For the first time since 1991, Bassmaster returns to Clewiston, Florida for stop number one of the 2024 Bassmaster Opens on Lake Okeechobee. Roland Martin is third place, needs 10 pounds, 5 ounces to take the lead. That's it, 13 pounds, 10 ounces, mark it. Roland, I think it's going to put you clearly in the lead. And Roland Martin is the champion of the Lake Okeechobee 1991 Florida Invitation. Oh my gosh, the 10-pounder, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. You got him. That is it, baby! Woo! I spent three days out here trying to find a sneaky, and I did not find a sneaky. I just don't think. Here's the thing: it's like there's a couple places I could go today that would be away from everybody. I just don't think I can win there. My best chance is right here. And what's crazy is I found that spot yesterday, with 20 minutes ago. I put an exclamation point on the screen because it's important. If I can get to it, I'm at 165 this morning. There could be, there could be somebody sitting dead on it. There could be, I might not ever be able to fish it for the whole tournament. I don't know. But that we're just going to roll with it. I'm not going to let anything bother me. I'm just going to get in the mix of everybody and try to try to outfish. You know, I mean that's it's. I know that sounds silly, but I'm just going to stay focused on trying to catch these big ones and see what happens. Good, how you doing? Good, good. That's it, yeah. that's all I got. All right, well, we're right there. So just okay. throw it in the boat. All right. Well, I'm gonna grab a bag of ice and okay. grab a thing of beef jerky and I don't think I need any tackle. Probably good on tackle. I fished my first Bassmaster on this on this lake right here. Finished fifth. I fished as a co-angler on this lake in 1999, and that year I won a boat, which kind of started my whole career. In 2000, I won my first FLW $100,000 tournament in Mississippi, first time I ever went out of the state. So 25 years ago, 26 years ago, this journey started. I don't know what to expect today. Look, I, I love this lake. I know how to fish it, but. It's a little complicated this time because of the pressure and there's nothing secret right now. Day number one, St. Croix, Bassmaster Open here on Lake Okeechobee. Walking like giants, we about to break up the silence. No longer they can deny it. We came to start up a riot. We came to start up a riot. We came to start up a riot. It's time that we can defy it. Only the strongest surviving. Ah!
That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh god, he pulled off, dude. That was a giant. What the heck, man? Need four more. Got him. That's a big and big, big giant one, bro. Big giant one. A big giant one. Eight or nine pounder. I think so. Hard to tell sometimes, but. Dude, that dude brought his own live scope. The dude in the back of the boat, the co anchor has his own live scope. Oh my gosh. That's funny. That's freaking hilarious, dude. That dude's got a freaking portable freaking live scope in the back of that boat. Oh my gosh. That's another level. Alright, 
That's four. That's five. Three good ones. Yeah. Switch to the bandito bug. Put the bandito bug on him. Got her. Got her. Got her big flip, big one, dude. Good deal. Oh yeah, hundred percent. You're all good. Yes. Twelve here on the lake. There's one, there's one right here. I just don't want to, I mean, he should bite. But, whatever. I'll get him in a minute. It just takes a minute. This big one, there's a, there's a big one. Like a seven or eight pounder. Up 25 feet front. There's like, I don't, the one right here could be a two pounder, or it could be a four pounder. Right. It, it looks like a good one, but it's, it's so close to the boat, it's hard to tell. That was a three and a half. Three, right? Three? Yeah, three. That's it. Three pounds. I got two threes. Two th I got a seven. Two six. Two, let's say two sevens. Yeah. yeah. Average. It's 14, 20, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24. Dude. Oh my gosh, it's a 10 pounder, dude. It's a 10 pounder, dude. They're all big. Except this one right here. Here's one. What do you think? They're identical. Yeah. That one looks fatter, I guess. 
this, right? No? Yeah. Well, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, this one's bigger. I didn't bring a scale. It's fine. Yeah, not their clones, really. I almost think this one is. I kind of think that too. Now. Done. Four. Kept. Second fish was a, that was one a six. Oh, no, the a six. Done. Okay. Third fish was a an eight or a seven. I don't have a scale, so I don't know. Seven. That last fish, this th three something, right? That small one, yeah. three. Yeah, it was three. Three. That's that last one, dude. Like a, I'm gonna, I mean, I think it's a ten pounder. I think so. Big. I'm gonna say nine and a half. I'm gonna say nine. Go nine. I got one like four, or four to five, right? Yeah, I'll put that in there. Twenty-nine four. Thing, guys. It's a ten pounder. It's a ten pounder. It's a nine. Hey. Maybe another big one. I'm not eating, dude. Hmm? I'm kind of not eating. You probably didn't have a neck in the bottom. That's cool. Yeah. Alright. Keep them on the phone for the warrant. Everything else could go. Girl treated us right. But 162. All right. What a day. That's uh. I don't know if we have 30, but we got a lot of we got a lot of weight. That's all. That's all that matters. That one fish. I I. I mean, it's a nine. It might be a 10. It's big. That was on that 74 Elite Series uh, lose rod. 74 heavy, stout rod, like that rod a lot. Had that on some X braid. No, I take that back, that was on no fade braid. I caught him today on two different, th well, three different things. Bandito bug, obviously. I caught him on a speed worm, and then I also caught him on, you know, this little half worm deal that I was pitching around. So that was pretty much it, but good day. It's all good, it's all good. Another day, where we going? I don't know, but I'm on the way. Yeah, gotta keep it on a high note. Give it everything, God, baby. Where it go, my guy? Good vibes, I need it. Feeling so fly. So, how was it? Uh, I got one as big as your leg, oh, and one good. is one as big as Amelia's leg. <laughs> and the other one as big as your other one. Oh, good! I love it. I love yeah. it. I'm proud of you, honey. Oh, thank you. Mm -mm. You so gotta help proud. grab them out of here. 
Okay, let's do it. I'm Can ready. Can you grab one? I'm going to let her grab that big one. That's going to be so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a pretty one. It's really hard for those today. Wow, man. Wow. My goodness. What in the world? Oh my heavens. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my Lord. Heaven. Oh my Lord. Oh wow. Oh! Don't worry. I got him. 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 Oh my gosh. Yes. I hope you're getting this on video. I hope you're getting this on okay, video. We, we gotta... How did they, they're not gonna all fit? They're not gonna fit. Yeah, we gotta get water on them now somehow. Spike them. Spike them. I've never had a bag quite that full. <laughs> Man, what a day, guys. That was crazy, huh? I think I got them. Those were all pretty big. I mean, I didn't really look at them. They look pretty big. Oh, they're big. Okay, okay. All right, just... <laughs> they're big then, huh? They're <laughs> big. You know, the way this thing's fishing, man, you just don't know. Yeah. I mean, you, you, I, you know, that's the problem. Yeah. I mean, you just don't know. You don't know what it's going to be. Dude, look at this bag, dude. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at these dang things in there. That's ridiculous, dude. Look at the mouth on that thing. All right, so I'm sitting in the hotel room at like 10 a.m. He calls me, wants to know how to enter a 10-pounder in a bass trailer. Let's bring him up. Scott Martin, you guys know him, out of Clewiston, Florida. And look at that crushed shitty bag. I said, are you for real? And he sure looks like he was for real. All right, five in the bag. We got Tucker Smith in the lead with 27.6. That's the mark. You need to have more than 27.6. Oh, yeah, 33 pounds and two ounces. There's that 30 pound bag we know Okeechobee has. 8-2, Phoenix Boat Big Bass. You need it more than that, you got it. Nine pounds, 12 ounces on that one. I was hoping we'd see a 30 pound bag and you delivered. I tell you what, I, I, uh, I'm kind of emotional really. This lake's been good to me over the years and you know, we're fighting our, our butts off for it. We started an organization called Anglers for Lake Okeechobee A-Flow and we're fighting every day to keep this lake in good shape. You know, we need vegetation back. We need the proper water levels. But more importantly, we need every one of y'all to fight with me because uh, I can't do it alone. I just can't do it alone. So <clears throat> we've been here a lot of years and uh, it felt good to go out there today. I wasn't sure what to expect. My practice was kind of typical. I really wasn't sure what I was on. There's a lot of boats, of course. I'm sure you saw some of the photos. There's boats all around. And I just had a piece today. I just stayed real calm and just just took it one fish at a time and it worked out. So I have no idea what's gonna happen tomorrow, but I'm gonna go out and do, try to do the same thing and just stay patient and just stay uh, full, of, full of blessings and, and just give God all the glory on this one, for sure. I found these fish yesterday, last day of practice at about 30, the last 30 minutes of the day. I pulled in and I thought, you know, I think I'm gonna start right here and that's where I call all my fish. That's awesome. Not to mention Scott and his wife and all the barns are out driving golf carts in the morning, you know, making all our logistics work. So, I mean, you got all that going on and then he still busts a 33 pound bag. No, it's, that's awesome. That's my biggest bag in a big pro tournament here for sure. So that was special. I have to say a huge shout out to my wife. You know, she's, uh, she was up real early this morning and, and, uh, you know, love her to death. My mom, 
Uh, I don't know if she's here right now, but hopefully she'll be here tomorrow. And uh, we're just praying for her. My nephews are over there. And I asked Emmett, I said, Emmett, I said, what do you think they weigh 30? He said, I think they weigh 31. So you're right, buddy, 33. Yes. All right, well, listen, I uh, just thank you. Let's go try to do it again tomorrow. Let's hear it for him. Scott Martin, the whole town kid. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> that's my biggest bag. I think that's my biggest bag in a pro tournament, for sure. I covered you for like... 20 minutes today before I even realized who you were. I know, I was like a little ninja. <laughs> you hey, David, we got Scott here. Yeah. <laughs> and you can take it off so we can hey, hey, buddy. She said she was going to try to sabotage you, but I had she no was idea like, how close She went like this. <laughs> <laughs> she took her fingernails and killed the thing. Killed it. <laughs> blood was shooting everywhere. She went. <laughs> yeah, you lost weight with the blood coming out. <laughs> no idea. She was freaking it out. Water shooting it's everywhere. It's definitely, oh, wow. and it was in distress. There's no doubt. I mean, his little eye was like this. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Scott and Scott down here are holding up the two biggest fish in the East Corner. Yeah, I'm kicking him with my foot. I'm like, yeah, he's going like this. And his little eye. Dude, oh my yeah. God. It was so You have no idea, y'all. All right, so uh, my biggest bag, I think, in a pro tournament here in the lake. 33 pounds, that's crazy. What was so crazy is when I pulled out that second biggest one, it was like a nine pounder. I thought it was only like a seven or something. I didn't even know, you know. We were bass ninja them things this morning, just sticking them alive while I'm moving on. But uh, tomorrow, I don't know. I really don't know. I think we'll start where I ended up late today. I think there's a few more in that zone. It's probably where I'll start and then we'll just see what happens, man. Hopefully I can stumble upon another four or five big ones and you know. Be nice. I need to catch another 30 something pounds tomorrow, and uh, that would be an amazing feat. It can be done. It can be done. How y'all doing? Hey, Baylor. This well, is Baylor. You guys, I hope you're hungry. I'm hungry. Very good. Hungry. good. So we, and listen. We did. Um, so let me just show you. They made amazing chili over yes. there. So there's chili. I hope y'all just eat here for like three days. Rice, this is Rosa Vieja and it's really, really good. It's a great Cuban dish, I'm sure you guys know about it. This is all um, fried chicken chunks, they're amazing. These are pork chunks, so this is pork. This is black beans, and this obviously will go over your rice. Yeah. You, this is fried yuca, you have to at least try it, and these are plain tangy. Do you get any croquettes? No, it's all potatoes. It tastes like a potato. It's like a potato. <laughs> Some local was trolling around all the anglers. No, There's 80 no. boats in a circle. Oh it looked like a parking lot. And he's trolling motor through there. Y'all are all screwed. Scott Martin's <laughs> got 29 pounds. <laughs> that, that is funny. That the funniest thing it was, was like, was like a game of telephone. Everyone was like, you hear Scott Martin apparently has 29 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Now, when did you catch that big fish? What time of day was that? I caught him, yeah. I caught him all, you know, all morning. I, know, I caught a real big one. That maybe is. maybe 11 o'clock. Right. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> that is so hey, cool. Hey, I told you I'm repping, baby. I'm that repping. is the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, she, she came up with that. She bought that hat a couple weeks oh ago gosh. at the boat show. Yeah. And we've been yeah. trying to think of a way to use it, and yeah. today was the best yeah. thing. She she said she wanted to put something on. I said put 33.2. I never saw him. Okay, he was in some pond. Uh, I never saw him. He was like, I got a magic pond. Yeah, I'm going to catch it tomorrow, dude. I mean, you made it this far. You might as well have gone and win today. I mean, yeah, he's got a chance to get a little bit back in the truck. No. Yeah. 33. 33 times 3 is 99. Yeah, but he ain't going to bust 33 every day. I'm just saying. What about Jack 37? No. We Jack 37 and Andrew gets the tattoo. Oh, 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 oh. Not happening. <laughs> Your choice. <But> absolutely <laughs> not happening. What is that? Uh, what is that? Uh, what is that? Uh, <laughs> On your forehead. What is that? She wrote his boyfriend's name. What is Belfix's three day record? I don't know what Belfix's three day record is. Here, I'll look it up. Yes. The, the fish are there to catch three a day. If I somehow stumble upon I don't know where they are. Three day wait. Zero tomorrow. Yeah, he can do that. 83 fire fire and velvet come clear like in 2000. That was when he made velvet. He's going to go 30 in 20 you're there. Good luck in your tournament tomorrow, too. They're catching 33 to 36 pounds every single weekend. And if there's two, if there's a Saturday tournament, it takes 33, 34. And if there's a Sunday tournament, the same guy wins it or another guy wins it with 35 or 33. 
So I mean, there's a multiple, multiple. I mean, I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. You know you just gotta fish around until you find them. I don't care where anybody is. <laughs> they can have 55 just, boats just around me. I don't care. That's what you told me. I'm gonna do this right here. I'm gonna be a little ninja tomorrow. <laughs> just ninja it up. I'm gonna be like a West Virginia ninja. Andrew, Andrew was salty. He goes, hey, for any of y'all that think uh, I've got a little inside information, he goes, I'll tell y'all what Scott told me. Just fish around. You'll find him. <laughs> just get in the, get in the spot and just, you know, tie on that swim jig, tie on one of those baits. And just, just, just keep casting. Keep casting, and, and you'll eventually find them. Yeah. And you'll start catching them. Just fish until you get bit. That's what you said. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just fish until you get bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just fish until you get bit. That's where they're at. That's, yeah. where, that's yeah. where the fish are. Yeah. It's easy, dude. It's easy. <laughs> fish until you get bit. <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly yeah. what you said yesterday. It's yeah. easy. He was just walking what? around the house going, just fish around. Just cast. <laughs> just cast till you find them. <laughs> yeah, that's the info I got. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it could, they could be over there. They could be over there. Yeah, either. I'm like, hey, do you, were you catching any flipping greens? You know, like just kind of flip on this side, that side. You know, it don't matter. Just kind of flip around. Right, right, right. Yeah, he's like, I asked him about this spot, and he's like, yeah, they should be there. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm gonna start where I found some fish late. I saw a couple, and then we'll just roll from there. So tomorrow's just gonna be same area, same thing. For me, it's probably gonna be mostly flipping, like it was today. You know, in practice, and this last week when the wind was blowing, you catch them on chatterbaits and swim jigs and stuff like that. But for me, you saw it. I mean, you saw it. That, and then taking a Magnum Speed Worm. No, I'm sorry, a Magnum Finesse Worm. And biting a little off, making it kind of a five and a half inch, whatever, a little thicker worm. And then I've caught a few on a paddle tail today. So really, bait-wise, pretty simple. I have to give a huge shout out to uh, Luz. I have to. Because that was a fun, I don't know how to put this in the words. And I know y'all are gonna watch, I know you watch this video and you're thinking like, he's just saying this because he's sponsored by Luz and he's just saying this because he's supposed to. I'm telling you, these things are different. They're just different. I don't know. I'm, I'm so excited about my rods and reels this year. I just can't. It's going to help me catch a lot of fish. It's going to help me fish better. The reels are just fantastic. Uh, the actions, again, I have a full bag now. I have all these different actions for certain things, and it does make a difference. And just cannot say enough great things about the rods. I caught them on the Signature Series rod today on a 7.3. No, 7.2. 7.2 right here. This, this dude right here is what caught... Uh, Several of the big ones. 7-2. Heavy action. It's a 7-2 heavy, so it's pretty stiff. 20-pound P-line pour carbon. 3-8 tungsten weight. Trocar EWG 4 odd. And this is the... I guess it's an Elite. I think it's called an Elite. elite I don't know all the TI. names. Yeah, Elite TI. 8-to-1 ratio. That's an awesome reel. That's a caught half my fish I weighed in on that. The other half came on this one. Paddle tail worm. This is the mag hyper mag. 8 to 1. 8 3 to 1. Hyper mag. 30 pound braid. P-line of course. And this rod is awesome. This is an elite I guess it's called an elite. It's a 7-4 heavy. It's stiff. It's a stiff 7-4 super sensitive I like that and I caught the um, the 10 pounder on that 912 on this and I think the other nine pounder on this so that was awesome and then that's about it something else I'm missing something else I did catch one on a drop shot today but yeah same deal that's what we'll do tomorrow so Go to bed, get up in the morning, and uh, do it all over again. See if we can't pull off something special. All right, day two is here. 33 pounds. Can you believe it, guys? What a blessing. Uh, you know, I know I didn't film a lot yesterday. I didn't do anything too crazy with the camera. I was really trying to just be incognito and kind of just sneak around in there the best I could. 
you know, today I'm just going to go back up there again and, and, and uh, mill around a little bit, you know. It's, it's just a matter of just finding a couple of areas, finding a couple of fish and making the right cast, being patient, all that good stuff. So, you know, I don't really know what to expect today other than I'm around them. So is about 80 other boats. So hopefully today, um, you know, we can catch another big bag. I mean, how special will that be, you know, to catch another monster bag back to back on this lake? This lake is special to me. It's, um, I'm fighting for it every day. Anglers for Lake Okeechobee is what we started, guys. And I just ask every one of y'all watching this video, go, sh go like our page on Instagram, our Facebook page as well. Anglers for Lake Okeechobee A-Flow. We're fighting for the health of this lake. We're fighting to protect this beautiful resource. And we're making some headway. We are making headway. Um, I'm confident that we can pull it off. So, uh, she's special. So, just one of two more special days here would be fitting. So, let's go get ready. Body back. If you're on the lock side of the dogs. dock in about what is it? seven a or eight minutes, we're going to stage you back just like yesterday. Again, we're rinsing, rinsing hey. and repeating. Nice. Just in reverse order oh, yeah. from yesterday. Reminder, make sure those lights are plugged oh, in and that, turned on. We I mean, had a couple of boats rattle? yesterday. Usually they don't, don't rattle. Line and forgot about it. Yeah, that's that's a – I like that. And I like this little container. I've actually been wondering how to store uh, swim baits. That's actually pretty good. Donks custom baits. Thanks, bro. I'll give you some love on that. Love it. Last day for golf cart gang. Hello. Next year. Sad. No, but it will be now. Go dad, 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 go dad. I love you. You're gonna do great today. Love you too. Alright guys, I want us to take this minute to from the bottom of my heart thank every single one of y'all for everything you guys do for us and my family, following our pages and supporting us on these tournaments and our videos. Just really want to say thank you uh, for all the support over the years, guys. And so we're going to go out there and, and fish hard again. Uh, appreciate all the comments. I, I read every single one of them. I wish I could respond uh, effectively to every single comment. Uh, but sometimes, you know, it's 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. I barely could keep one eye open. So I just want to thank every single one of y'all for the comments y'all drop uh, on our channel and our page. And, um, yeah, so day two. You know, we're just going to go out there, guys. I, I don't really know exactly where we're going to catch them up there, but we'll just mill around and and uh, and have some fun. You know, just stay patient, stay calm, take it one fish at a time. Thank you.
Okay, we got one, now we need four more. Took a while. Took a while. Oh God, dude. Oh god, man. Missed this fish three times. He's he's just grabbing the back of it. Go this little speed crawl. Something that's just like the perfect little size. Scent. A little extra sonar, a little extra color, a little extra bite. Alright, here we go. No, he was running like I thought it was a big one, dude. I mean, he was like running the whole way.
three and a half, or three. Yeah. I don't know what I have. What do I have? What was that biggest one I caught? Six? Six. Think it's a six? Two threes two and a two and a half, two and a quarter. Big one, big one, giant one, dude. Do this again. I <laughs> always forget. There we go. Thank you, buddy. Awesome, I'm not saying I'm, I'm. I'm not saying I won't throw a, a, a little spinning rod. But dude, I ain't throwing a spinning rod, dude. I'll just throw big old nasty braid, big old giant thing. And we just get it done. Awesome. I'm like a bass ninja, dude. I just slide around in here. <laughs> awesome. just happened dude that's a big oh. that's where I caught 32 pounds yesterday right here I haven't gone to it all day <laughs> That was uh, another great day. This lake's been good to me. Thank you, Lake Okeechobee. This was a good day. That last little move was the move. Biggest fish of the day, back to where I started. Tomorrow, there'll only be 10 people out there. I can fish everything I want to fish. And we're just gonna go have fun. Good. I'm not sure, I'm sure some people caught them today. We just got to catch them tomorrow. I have no idea where exactly we're going to catch them. We're just going to stay put in that area and do the same thing we did. That's all we can do. Back him again, did you? I'm all right. I know. I got him. I know. 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 I
Good job, Scott. Thank you. Babe, do you think it's a good idea if I come on the boat? Let uh, Sue, let Sue put the fish in your bag. Yeah, you are. Be ready to go. Oh, wait. What's up, boys? Who's that guy? That good looking guy there. Hey, Mama. You got to get in and take that. How you doing? Out. Two days in a row. I don't know. How are you? Uh, you want me to get your hand? I don't know. Dude, I need well, some help. Well, I got here late. Can you pull them out of the live well for me? I have. I've been today, doing so. that for all my life. I know. You know. Uh -huh. Hey. Just don't let go. Just don't let go. No matter what. Just be ready to jump in. How's this working? <laughs> He's saying, oh, okay, I got it. I figured it out. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Nice. Well, I'm scared. No, it's not more than yesterday. No, no, no. How about Scotty? Hey. 100 pounds oh. of fish. Not it, quite. It feels that way. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! Scott! Oh, I love you so much. Or 24 pounds. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Always high. Always shoot. That would be nice. <laughs> oh, oh boy, you're here already. All right, here's your day one leader. 33 pounds and two ounces out of Clueson, Florida. Scott Martin. Man, we should have held you to the end. We need the crowd for the rest of the time, Scott. All right, five in the bag. You need 18-1 to take over the lead. 25 pounds, 13 ounces, two day total, 58 pounds, 15 ounces, just one ounce shy, 59 pounds even. Fun. But you got to admit, it's way more fun doing it right here on this lake. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's a blessing to be standing here right now in front of my hometown crowd, in front of my mama that's over there. She's hugging some necks right now, my sister, my whole family, my wife, everybody, my kids, all my, all my nephews. All my friend, family and friends, everybody, it's just great to be here, to be honest with you. You know, I, I, grew, I grew up right here, and I watched my dad win a Bassmaster tournament, and that was kind of the defining moment for me. I don't know what year it was, but it was in the parking lot on the other side of this building. They had the stage set up, and it was right here, and my dad won that tournament. I practiced with him that event, and I felt like I was part of that tournament, and, I, and he gave me credit on stage. He said, oh, man, my son was a big help this week, and... And that was kind of like, I thought to myself, I might be able to do this, you know? And uh, to be able to maybe win this thing, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. It would be so special, you know? This lake's been good to me. We've got to protect this lake. We've got to, um, we got to just win it for the hometown. That's what we got to do with my family. That's what we got to do. We need to set a record for open attendance, Cluiston. Call your friends, call your family. We need to pack this place out. Absolutely, yeah, Cluiston, come on, let's go. <laughs> One more day, FS1, we're live. They can follow along all day and on Bassmaster.com and then uh, can watch it all go down right here tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know what to expect. I, I, I actually didn't even fish where I, I caught one fish. I stopped late in the afternoon and caught one big fish. I fished totally different water today and I, I'm not really sure where I'm gonna fish tomorrow, but you know what? The Lord's just blessed me a ton this week, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let him take the reins and just go with it. He's your leader, let's hear for him one more time. 58-15. Wow, 25, 13. What a crazy day. I mean, that was just, stayed patient all day out there. I mean, you saw it, guys. I mean, yeah. you know, you, you, you saw the video parts of when I catch fish, but there was hours of me not catching them and, and just cruising around in there and being patient. And, and, and there was a couple of times today where there was like a lot of people catching fish around me. And I literally, on purpose, wouldn't pay any attention to that. So I just try to keep my kept my head down literally and um, we scrapped up a pretty good bag so you know if we can do that tomorrow it's gonna be it'd, amazing it'd be, nice. it'd be nice to catch a big bag big so blessing yeah yeah the lake the lake uh, the lake, the lake uh, it's been good to me we're, we're gonna we're gonna fight hard so yeah day uh, 
day two is in the books. Day three is upon us. Yeah. So I'm not sure if we're going to do a new video or not, but we're not done with this one yet. We'll meet you back at the house. Yeah. So, I don't know where they are. Exactly. We need to look. June bug, perfect. June bug, green pumpkin. That actually will work. Prop bait. Worm. This little bandito bug's got to go up. This one, we got to put a little tiny worm on. I need to salvage these things. I'm down to like eight baits. Moving baits. Probably out. Like swim jigs, chair baits, stuff like that. I'm not gonna fool with those. Frog could be a player tomorrow. Frog could be. Put that out. Chatterbait rod can go up. This is tournament. This is uh, probably the most patient I've ever fished in a tournament in my life. First day, I didn't go more than 100 yards <laughs> all day. Just fishing around a little area. Today, went a little farther than that, but still really stayed put for the most part. Um, you know, tomorrow, just going to go in there, have some fun. Hopefully, the, hopefully they're going to bite really good, which is going to be good. I think they're going to bite for everybody, though. That's the, that's the problem. So, warming temperatures, warming temperatures, and I think the fish are going to bite like crazy. So, got to catch them. We're going to have fun. So, we're going to leave you guys with this. Right now, we're going to close the video out, and we're going to invite you. We'd love for you to join us in this next video. It's going to air right after this video on the channel. Hopefully the title is something pretty special. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you for all the support. Check out the merch. Like I said, we'd love for you guys to be repping the merch. Check out all of our social handles. I'll see you guys. Love you. Bam!